So kind of exciting news as we expand our family here. Well, as we told you earlier this week, we are thrilled to have entertainment tonight now airing right here on Fox Providence. And with so much going on in Hollywood, really, there couldn't be a better time. So joining us this morning from ET is Thea Andrews. Good morning, Thea. Good morning, Elizabeth. Thanks for having us. We're really excited to be joining you guys in Providence, 6 p.m. every night, Monday through Friday. Yeah, we want to welcome you here to Providence. You know, I'm so glad that we're talking to you this morning because there is so much going on, particularly with the Michael Jackson case. What can you tell us is the latest as you continue to moderate, monitor this developing story? Wow. Well, I mean, Catherine, like you said, what a time for us to be joining you. What a week we had in, in, in news last week, and we're moving the story forward this week. There's a couple angles, of course, that we're following. First of all, guardianship of the kids. Um, Catherine Jackson filed yesterday to, to be legal guardian of the kids, so we'll be following, and, and people are saying that that the Jackson family might be gearing up for an epic battle with, the, with two of the children's biological mother, Debbie Rowe, um, and this possible mystery woman who could come forward as the blanket, the third child's mother. So we're going to be following that battle very carefully. And, if, and of course, um, what is going to come out in the autopsy report? As of yesterday morning, there was autopsy uh, reports circulating in the media. We didn't know if they're real or fake. It, it's saying it, that it's going to be about four to six weeks until we get the real autopsy report out to the media. But in the meantime, it's very interesting to look at some of the things that were circulating in the media starting yesterday morning, uh, talking about the, um, the, the marks on his body, the, the needle marks, the undissolved pills in his stomach, allegations of anorexia, you know, what he was going through physically at the time and you know finding out what actually killed Michael Jackson a lot of angles to follow in this story well the I know you're going to continue to uh, monitor that situation and continue to report the latest thanks so much for joining us and we want to mention that you can catch ET at 6 p.m. right here on Fox Providence